engineers are going to be up to the task of climate change. They've been living with it um, and managing it for the benefit of society. The trick is to actually do something that will be adaptable in the future. So if you're building something like a highway or railway or flood defence, to recognise that what you're building for today, actually its shape, form or uh, service level may need to change in the future. So um, climate change is really interesting, all sorts of discussion, whether it's a conspiracy, whether it really exists. What I can tell you as an engineer is certainly after a while, I began to accept that the rate of change of climate and environmental extremes is happening more and more. And to be able to do that, you really had to put that at the forefront of your thought as to how our city is going to survive in the future. Um, we've seen roads that go underwater easily, telecon, uh, communications that don't very, work very well under extreme weather or uh, temperatures are freezing. And I think engineers just love that bit of a challenge to try and make it work. The trick is actually not only to make it work now, as I said, but to actually make it work for the future. Um, and, and it's quite difficult because if you were a new country from starting from start, from fresh, what you do is you design your cities trying to accommodate that. In Britain, we're a really condensed society and we're lucky. We've been going for years. We've got lots of infrastructure, but actually to change it's quite difficult. So up ahead, we've really got to be thinking how everything we've got, we're trying to make either urban light, uh, life more durable um, or actually just to make sure we don't put a burden on our future kids because uh, I just think that would be unacceptable. Easy solutions now will be a problem for the future. So, um, yeah, absolutely engineers are up to it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some exciting solutions, not only in urban areas, but actually in those areas, particularly rural areas, that um, actually struggle to get that connection and investment. Um, I would say the uh, spread of super fast internet to a rural area um, is helping sustain more people staying in the country. It's those sorts of things. You've got to look at the complete package rather than just accept everyone is going to continue to migrate to cities. So, yeah, we're, we're up for it, definitely. Thank you.